Hotel. So nothing to do with Webster hyphen Tarpley blogspot. I said it's Tarpley dot blogspot dot com. You get the idea. Anyway, that's that's a uh, an imposter site. Then there's another one. I think this one actually says investigative journalism. I'm not sure, but the name of this thing is uh, Gold hyphen Silver hyphen Market dot or what is it? dot blogspot dot com. Anyway, gold hyphen silver hyphen market blogspot dot com. You can imagine whether I'm going to be telling you about about that as my principal theme. These are imposters. So ignore them, scorn them, diss them, spread the word. These are not real. Now, the problem we then face is uh, more sophisticated than uh, than just imposter sites. And we'll turn to that now in our next segment here on World Crisis Radio. Welcome back to World Crisis Radio for the afternoon of Friday, September 4th, 2015, just before Labor Day. Now, what we're doing here is in the process of growth, and the Tax Wall Street Party United Front Against Austerity is in rapid growth logistically in terms of members, influence, and so forth. I, I put out a briefing one morning this past week where I said, remember that the president has control of the thermonuclear button. And if that's Trump, you're in big trouble. Look at your children. Look at your wife. Look at your family and friends. You want to put that in the hands of Trump, a madman, a megalomaniac? Well, by the evening, I saw David Broder tell Anderson Cooper on CNN, you know, the president has control of the thermonuclear button. Now, can I trace it? Obviously, I can't. But I hope to be contributing something. I hope that my activity is not in vain. And there are a number of indications. So what we're doing here is scraping the barnacles from the hull of the super dreadnought as we advance. And I just went through the only website you want to go to on uh, Facebook is facebook.com front slash... Webster G. Tarpley, that's the uh, fan uh, page, or Webster Tarpley, which is the friends page. Or I may have those in reverse, but those are two authentic sites. The other ones, anything that's got uh, hyphens in it is no good. There are two blog spots that pretend to be me. One of them has at various times asked for money. Don't do it. Rather, report them, protest, uh, point out that this, this is a fraud. Okay, so the imposters. But now, further scraping of the barnacles off the hull. We've talked about this question of uh, COINTELPRO. We're now moving into the area of COINTELPRO, counterintelligence provocation. This was big by the FBI in the 1970s. And what we find now is that this has become even more pervasive and, above all, more open, more blatant in the post-9-11 era. And don't blame me for this. I fought 9-11 probably more than any other living person uh, with a very detailed book, which you really ought to read uh, and, uh, if you don't want to get taken in by scams like the 28 pages, as if that could be the secret to 9-11. We have NAG networks, right? We have informal part-time combinations of agents, dupes, psychotics, and so forth. We have counter gangs. The counter gang, again, contains that idea of mimicry, right? You, if you want to bring down some website, you create one that looks quite similar, and then you have introduced this question of suspicion, confusion, doubt, uh, and the activity will fall way below what it was. In other words, it's not taking existing activity and dividing it in half. It's going to go way, way down. There's a question of containment, right? We know that political forces emerging outside of the two political parties are going to be contained. The ones inside the political parties will be contained in different ways. But containment is certainly there. You can call this a counterinsurgency operation if you want to. Now, as I said a minute ago, we know this from the Church and Pike committees back in the 1970s. That CIA, FBI, intelligence community, they had a pervasive network already in the media, for example. One of the big things in the church committee was that a lot of your media stars are actually working on the CIA payroll or they're getting an extra bonus every month or whatever it is from the CIA. So uh, 
what do we have today? Well, got to go back to 2010. Very interesting series in the Washington Post, and it's called Top Secret America. It's three articles. You can go back, and indeed you should look at it. Top Secret America, this immense archipelago of Beltway bandits, uh, security cleared uh, characters who are doing their thing, right? And it's 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 huge, right? In terms of the the D.C. area, it's a very important part of uh, social life, the economy, and everything else. This was written by Dana Priest, veteran journalist at the Washington Post, and by William Arkin. You may know that he's got a book out with the various code names of uh, of different things. So, post 9/11. We have to face the fact that American society has become honeycombed with spies, informers, and police agents. Now, uh, I don't want to sound apocalyptic. I'm not deterred by this. I don't I don't I'm not afraid of this. And don't you be either, because, uh, you know, they're out there when you see what wretches they are. Then you're going to see you know, how little uh, ultimately uh, there there is to fear from these people. Uh, so this is now the, the great tradition of the Temple of Apollo. Um, let me just I'll give you one or two other historical background pieces. Honoré de Balzac, B-A-L-Z-A-C, one of the greatest novelists of all time, probably the greatest French writer or even European writer of the 19th century. Uh, one of his uh, – he's got this whole human comedy. Uh, and one of the books, one of the most famous, is Old Goriot, Le Père Goriot, G-O-R-I-O-T. And here we got a rooming house. It's the Vauquet rooming house, V-A-U-Q-U-E-R. Take a look at this. Um, and what you're going to find is that in this one dirty, nondescript, rundown rooming house, you got not one, not two, not three, not f- but four police agents, Um Madame Vauquet, the one who runs it, is suspected of being a police agent. You've got uh, a guy called um, Colin, right, who comes back from the, uh, you know, from from God knows where, and the police say you are a criminal, and eventually he becomes an informer as a way of staying out of jail. There's, I think, a guy called Poiret. Uh, who does the same thing. But above all, for our present purposes, we need Mademoiselle Michonneau. Mademoiselle Michonneau, M-I-C-H-O-N-N-E-A-U. Mademoiselle Michonneau, who is she? She's the bitter spinster, full of venom and hatred. And she's the one who turns the famous Vautrin, V-A-U-T-R-I-N, the famous thief and adventurer, sort of a romantic figure in this book, uh, she turns him over to the cops. So the French term is indicateur or indicatrice, a police agent who fingers people for the cops to come and arrest them. In Germany, of course, it's known as a Spitzel, Polizei Spitzel, police agent. Or under Nazism, of course, you had the Blockwart system. You would have a house supervisor or Blockwart, W-A-R-T, uh, and they would be there to see everybody coming in and out. The concierge, the French concierge, is actually a police uh, agent. Back in New York, we used to have the uh, the New York City Red Squad, famous, right, for provocations. In Philadelphia, it was Fencil the Pencil, way back when. Uh, Whitey Bulger in uh, the Winter Hill Mob in Boston, very much under the influence of these people. So society has come to be pervaded by spies and operatives. No way around it. Got to deal with it. Tell you how in a minute. Welcome back to World Crisis Radio, our Labor Day edition. So now we've gone through something of the history of this, uh, the penetration of society by various kinds of um, operatives. And again, it's not new. It's been there, right? Delphi, Greek world, France. This was the restored uh, Bourbon monarchy. Germany, various times, concierges, all the rest. Austria was famous for the Bach system. Remember that one? The standing army of soldiers, the sitting army of bureaucrats, the kneeling army of priests, and the crawling army of spies all over the place in in Vienna. But now let's come back to our current situation. The Tax Wall Street Party and the United Front Against Austerity are drawing in hundreds of recruits. Rapid growth. Now, 
it is inevitable that in a period of ra- ra- rapid growth, you're going to get people who really don't belong with you. They really, if they're normal people, they don't want to be with you. They're going to find that it's not what they thought and that they, they'd rather do something else, right? They have certain issues that are not going to be the central issues of your group. You know what my issues are. You can imagine what some of these non-starter issues are. At a certain point, uh, people can become embittered. They get lost. Uh, sometimes you have to invite them to uh, to go elsewhere, right? If they really want to do some other issue, then they should go there rather than trying to take you know one of the few groups that's absolutely devoted to war avoidance and uh, avoiding depression and indeed avoiding uh, dictatorship. Those are our big three issues, right? Depression, uh, dictatorship, and war. We're against all three. So now, what am I doing? First of all, I want to I want to invite everybody to affiliate with the Tax Wall Street Party. I want you to come forward. Here's what you can do. Uh, All of this stuff can be done through tarpley.net. So you want to be 100% sure you're dealing with me, Webster G. Tarpley, in the flesh, PhD. Come to my tarpley.net and look at the left-hand side. You're going to see something that says Speakers Bureau. You go to the Speakers Bureau. You put it in. Type it in that box. I'll get it. and I think that's the that's the most efficient way to do it. We also have uh, other uh, methods of staying in touch. One of them is uh, info, I-N-F-O, at T-W-S-P dot U-S. How about that? Info at T-W-S-P, T-W-S-P stands for Tax Wall Street Party dot U-S. Info at T-W-S-P dot U-S or Tarpley dot net speakers bureau. Um, if you're a stickler for the whole story, taxwallstreetparty at gmail.com. We'll do it. Taxwallstreetparty at gmail.com. Now, what we have to offer is a Sunday night conference call, which is generally uh, addressed by me. And uh, we have an open phones portion. And what we're really looking for is people to come, come into our open phones part. You got questions? You got comments? Bring them on. Love to hear from you. Be very, very honored to have you come forward. So this is at 8 o'clock Eastern time, year round. Uh, We'll have one uh, on Labor Day weekend. It may not be one of the biggest, but we'll certainly have it. Uh, So please uh, get in touch with us. Say that you'd like to have a subscription to the Daily Briefing. You want to be part of the uh, Tax Wall Street Party Sunday conference call. And you want to be part of our list serve because we have for not for chit chat, but for official communications and intelligence and other other important things. We've got that. Uh, so come on there. And then, of course, as I said, the daily briefing. So tarpley.net speakers bureau, put it all in the box and uh, I'll uh, make sure that somebody gets in touch with you fairly quickly. And as a matter of fact, we have a backlog. So we have to apologize to people that are uh, that have been waiting for some time. This is a this is a problem of uh, growing pains, I guess you'd say. Now, uh, suppose you go on Facebook and you say, uh, I support your cause or I want to help Reverend Pinckney. You may get a very strange telephone call. You may get a telephone call from a woman in certain cases. This is according to our reports. A desperate housewife, not from uh, New York City, but rather from somewhere in the upper Midwest, the upper Midwest. Uh, And this woman may propose to play a tape for you. Strangely enough, this is really bizarre. She says, I want to prove that uh, this, what this woman says is she wants to prove that she actually represents me more than I do myself. How, how absurd, how absurd. Uh, but this is the way it works here in uh, top secret America. She says, I want to play a tape because Tarpley is not Tarpley. This voice that you hear is not the voice of Tarpley, but that Tarpley has been taken over by Daniela Walls. You've heard Daniela Walls on this program. Uh, she has been doing some very important logistical tasks lately. She's going to be back, I hope, as early as next week. But let's see how 
how that goes. So 